Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this lesson video, we're going to talk about this topic. Why do we use past tense in research? Bakit nga ba tayo gumagamit ng pang nagdaan sa ating pananaliksik or sa ating research paper? So, unang-una, let's try to figure this out. What is past tense? Ano nga ba ito? It expresses an action that is finished already. So, when we say finished already, tapos na yan. Parang nakakain ka na, tatayo ka na sa upuan kasi tapos ka nang kumain. Therefore, nagpapakita ito ng time element. Kung tapos ka na kumuha ng data para sa research mo, definitely ang gagamitin mo ng verb ay past tense. Kung sa iyong research paper proposal, gumamit ka ng future tense kapag tapos na ang iyong paper. That means, kompleto mo na yung data, hindi na future tense ang gagamitin mo, kundi past tense na. So, let's take a look at these examples. Answered. This is a verb in the past form already. It is from the verb answer, which is in the present form. Showed. This is also in the past form. Its present form is show. Included. Another verb in the past form. From the present, include. So, kung tapos na, eto na yung gagamitin natin. Okay, let's take a look at these examples. Number one, let's try to use the verb here. The students answered the questionnaire. So, if you encounter this sentence, okay, kapag iyong nabasa ang sentence na ito, automatically, maiisip mo na, ah, tapos na silang magsagot. The students answered the questionnaire. Tapos na. So, nakapagsagot na sila. Congrats, may data ka na dyan kapag nakapagsagot na sila. How about Another example, results show that the grade 7 students need more problem-solving activities. Okay, results show that the grade 7 students need more problem-solving activities. Paano mo nasabi yun? Siyempre, tapos ka ng mag-gather ng data, kaya nga ipinakita na ng mga resulta ito na kailangan nila ng marami pang activities sa problem solving, siguro para mas humusay pa sila sa skills na to. The study included the master teachers. So, sinasabi dito na isinama yung mga master teachers. Hindi isasama pa lang, isinama na talaga. So, maaaring nakapagsagot na yung mga master teachers na yun. So, why do we use past tense in research? Bakit nga po ba, ma'am, ginagamit pa yung past tense sa research? Hindi na lang po natin hayaan na naka-future tense kasi yung proposal namin nasa future tense po. Siyempre, nagpo-propose ka pa lang. Okay? Parang ina-assume mo pa lang. Pero dito kasi, tapos ka na eh. Meron ka ng data, kaya nga pinapatunayan mo na. Pinapast tense mo na. So, past tense is used to express an action that was finished or completed already. Complete na yung experiment mo, complete na yung pagpapa-acceptability mo, complete na yung pagpapasagot mo. Kaya, congrats! Past tense na natin yan. So, another use is it's for the result of an activity or experiment, which I have mentioned a while ago. So, for example... The students answered the questionnaire. Tapos na yan, okay? Results show that the grade 7 students need more problem-solving activities. Okay, tapos na rin yan. The experimental group was taught with games and online activities. Ginawa na yan. The experimental group. So, ito ay parang experimentation. Maaaring may dalawang grupo, isang experimental, isang control group. So, dalawang grupo, yung experimental group, tinuruan gamit ng games and online activities. So, tapos na. Was taught. Ito yung past form ng verbs. Answered, showed, was taught. Naturuan na, guys. Okay? So, 
Nag-express ba ng action na tapos na? Yes. Ito ba ay resulta ng activity o experiment? Yes. Okay. So, in what parts of the research paper do we use the past tense? Sa ang bahagi po ba, ma'am, ng research paper or ng thesis paper namin, gagamitin ang past tense. First, abstract. So, pagkatapos ng ating title page, approval sheet, kahilera na niyan yung abstract. Previous findings or RRL, especially if the subject is the name of the researcher. Okay? Mamaya, meron akong ipapakitang halimbawa. Procedure of the study. Sinasabi mo na ito po yung mga ginawa ko. Nagpa-validate ako. Sumulat ako. Humingi ako ng permiso. Namigay ako. Nag-retrieve ako. Nandyan yan sa procedure. Definitely, tapos na yung procedure. Kaya yan ay dapat nakapas tense na. Four, results or findings of own or current study. Pag iyong sinasabi yung findings mo, gagamit ka ng past tense. For example, so first is abstract, the blue one. The research focused on assessing the reading skills of the senior high school students. Ayan, so itong sentence na to ay nasa abstract ito na nagpapahayag ano ba yung focus ng iyong study. So the focus is on assessing the reading skills of the senior high school students. But because it's in the abstract, sinasabi mo na the research focused on assessing the reading skills of the senior high school students. Previous findings or RRL, especially that the subject is the name of the researcher. So, gagalang 2020 reported. Dahil 2024 na ngayon. So, tapos na, na-report na yan. Gagalang 2020 reported average vocabulary skills level of the first year students. So, nakandakt na, resulta na ito. Previous findings. Number three, procedure of the study kapag nasa final paper na. So, sinabi mo... 10 experts validated the instrument. So, technically, kasama to sa iyong procedure na nagpa-validate ka. Okay? Number four, results or findings of own current study. So, you have here, this study yielded baseline data for context-based intervention program. Mapapansin nyo, guys, merong mga naka-underline. And yung mga past forms of verbs, focused, reported, Validated, yielded. So, tandaan natin. Abstract, previous findings or RRL, especially the subject is the name of the researcher. Procedure of the study, if in the final paper, results findings of own current study. Meron din minsan na ibang parts na para ang ini-integrate yung past form para mas maayos na mapakita yung punto ng paragraph. Okay, pero ito talaga inaasahan na itong parts na to ay dominated by past tense. Abstract, previous findings or RRL, procedure of the study if in the final paper, and results or findings of own or current study. So just take a look at these examples and there are more examples in other papers or published research. So, some verbs, guys, just to have a simple list of some verbs usually used in research. So, these are already in the past forms. Analyzed, included, assessed, investigated, confirmed, observed, examined, proposed, found, reported. We do not say found out, just the word found. Highlighted, revealed, improved, underscored at marami pang iba. Ma'am, bakit po kailangang marami tayong alam na verbs sa pagsusulat ng research? Definitely, we need to have a lot of verbs in our head so that we have a lot to use so that we avoid repetitions. Baka lagi na lang sinasabi natin found, found, found. Pwede naman nating sabihin highlighted, revealed, reported included at marami pang iba. 
ilan lang ito guys, napakarami pa. Sa susunod, uh, siguro gagawa ako ng mas malawak or mas marami pang nakalistang verbs para meron kayong instant reference. Okay, let's take a look at the examples. The proposed intervention program aims to address the least mastered skills of the learners. 2. It was revealed that there is no significant difference in the performance of the two groups of respondents. 3. The study's results underscored the need for a long-term reading intervention program. 4. The performance of the grade 6 pupils improved with the use of the developed learning material. Okay, now the tips, finally. 1. Know the past tense of verbs. Siyempre, kapag alam mo, magagamit mo. Yung tamang spelling, guys, at yung tamang past form or past tense. 2. Use them correctly. Tamain natin yung gamit sa kanila. Huwag tayong manghuhula. Meron namang mga dictionary. Meron tayong mga references. Mag-check talaga tayo. Ang maganda dito, pag natutunan natin, wow, nasa atin na yan. Hindi na yan mawawala. Kaya we have to find time. We have to exert efforts para talagang matama at dumami yung mga verbs natin. 3. Edit your paper as needed. So, Kung yun ay naka-future tense, i-edit mo kasi kailangan. At gamitin mo yung tamang verb. 4. Submit a correct copy of your research paper. So, correct copy. Lalo na kung final paper yan, guys. Dapat correct. Pag correct, syempre, klaro, clear. Correct, clear, mahalaga yan. Okay? Syempre, check yan. Kapag tama na, malinaw pa at talagang sakto. So, ang rating niyan maganda. At ikaw din mismo, nakadevelop ka ng expertise sa larangan ng pananaliksik or research. Okay, so thank you so much. Sana may napulot kayo sa lesson video na ito. Medyo busy the past months, kaya ngayon lang uli tayo nakapag-share ng lesson. Thank you so much. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell for more lesson uploads, practical tips, and anything educational. Have fun learning!